Thank you, Hanky, for letting us join you for this. This is actually going to be a lot of fun, I think. Yeah, yeah. man. Hey, thanks for having me, man. Thanks for no having problem. me, bro. Yeah, glad to be here. All right, let's start with first thing I noticed between like gens and um, because I haven't really fully played Colors and Unleashed. First thing I noticed in gens was like the physics were so much worse in forces. Like, how did I wonder how that would happen? Because couldn't they just use the same physics from before? You know, mm -hmm. and that's exactly yeah. that's a good question, and. You know, it boggles my mind to wonder the same thing because when we first heard the game was in development, we heard that they were making a Hedgehog engine too. Everyone originally thought they were making a, but what they did make a new engine from the ground up. But we also thought they were fixing the the physics a bit to kind of make it better than Generations. But it turns out the engine doesn't do anything with the physics in terms of. Uh, Movement. I, I know the acceleration is a little different in the game, but really the Hedgehog Engine 2 is just makes it look more pretty from what I've yeah. heard. Uh, which, mm. again, it really it does beg the question why why is the physics worse if that's all the Hedgehog Engine did? At least that's what Sonic well, Team I, Why is it worse? I, I think it's mostly from um, from this, like from a development standpoint. Mm. Like, um, you, you, you per game on a per game basis you're going to have you know different different physics you know on a per game basis the, again this this is not excusable why they had that you know these different physics but still i don't i don't think like uh we can just say they can copy and paste i don't think it's as simple as that but again yeah. they, it, there's no excuse on, as to why they should have they were worse than generations like generations all you had to do was polish that up a bit and like you got like a completely like perfect boost game basically from a physics standpoint mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah i think oh uh, you go first you can go ahead oh, uh, oh okay um I all right think... so that's no go ahead actually okay no, no sorry um yeah i think from uh from what i've heard isn't the hedgehog engine isn't it a lighting engine by any chance isn't it just for isn't it just for lighting and stuff or was it for physics because i thought um Havoc or whatever that was called. Uh, yeah, I thought yeah, that I, was for the physics. Yeah, that's I think what I that's thought too. Oh, yeah, really? Cause, cause I like, actually did not with know. With the that. exception of with the exception of like colors, I think colors uses Phys X, which was weird because it was. Oh like, yeah, yeah, it does. That's right. Huh? I actually did not know that. I actually thought everything was on the Hedgehog engine. No, because yeah, they use a uh, Havoc. They used it for uh, Unleashed, I believe. They used it for yeah Generations. I believe that was the engine and. The Hedgehog engine, I think, was just for uh, lighting and as aesthetics and stuff. I think that's what... I, I don't know. I may be wrong, but... Well, okay. Uh, well, here's that's what I always thought. If that's engine the engine 2 was mainly made for graphics... Apparently, uh, Havoc is used for collision detection and animation for the most part, according to oh. uh, Sonic fandom. Okay. So, I, I really don't know where the Physic engine is like lying in the game. Like, What are they using for it? I think right. honestly, they the new like team and stuff. They they just aren't the same people from generations, and they rebuilt it without looking at what they did before. That's also well, another problem with Sonic games. The teams are always very very inconsistent in who's working on the game. You yeah, may have yeah. like uh, Azuka at the top, but everyone else below is going to be different from the previous games. Like, like exactly, they don't build off of what they had good. Like a lot of the people from what I know, from what I've seen in Forces, if they pull it outside of the new people, which there were, uh, from what it seems like from the credits, because I had to do a video on this um, a while ago. And from what I've seen in the credits, uh, outside of the new people, which there's a lot of, a lot of the people for, were from games like Black Knight, you know, people <laughs> who worked on Secret Rings, people who didn't work on the top notch games like Unleashed or uh, Gens. And you had even people from Lost World, like the level designer from Lost World was the head level designer for this game i believe there's only three of them all right yeah that's I the main so. wow i think in the level design is why it got so much worse i think it was not only that there was three people but be, like three people didn't do that bad of a job it's just not we need more I, than three people for a professional mm -hmm. we can even call sonic forces that at this point well, I think it's like I think Forces Forces had to have been a smaller budget game than the rest of them because for them to yeah. sell that game at forty dollars and produce physical carts, that that had to be a way smaller production game than uh, previous entries into the series. Because if you're selling the game at forty dollars and are making you know financial gains off of that, 
they could have easily sold the copies of the game probably at like twenty dollars. <laughs> you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I, I don't right. feel like this game was as grand of a scale uh, for development. Hence, why they cut corners probably on the development team. Well, yeah, and that's like, another thing. I remember. Dollars. I remember yeah. when um oh real quick when uh, Nakamura he tweeted. I think there was. I think it was um what maybe two three months before the game came out. I do remember he tweeted saying. Not, he said, we want to make sure we give all of Sonic's villains enough screen time. That was the first thing he said. The second thing first he said lie. was... Yeah, first lie. The second lie was... <laughs> uh, wow, what else did he say? Uh, give brand me a minute. Brand new experience is something... Brand new experience. No, that was Izuka that, <laughs> no, that, that, <laughs> no, that said that. No, yeah, but, uh, it, it, it was a brand new experience. Yeah, it, it was a brand <laughs> new experience. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Not a very good brand new experience. You know, and, and it's kind of funny when we say that, but, you know, after playing Forces, all I feel like, you know, this game really is the definition of a hollow Sonic game. There is nothing under, like, there's no substance in this game whatsoever. It is yeah. very, exactly. very it's hollow. Pa- it's what's it's painfully so average. Sonic exactly. games where, exactly, it could have been so great. There was so much potential for this if they just freaking did it right. Honestly. Oh, I had a, um... So the other night I had that we there was this uh, there was another discussion I was a part of. We were talking about, you know, uh, what if what if fans could uh, rewrite the story, and and we were just you know we were just sitting there we were tossing ideas in. Uh, what do you think? What, what do we think could work best? And we came down to something, and I said, why do, why doesn't Sega hire more fans to do? Because I know they you know I know they hired fans to do Mania and stuff like that, and they were given. Um, pretty strict rules because you know the you know sega's not gonna let so a bunch of new people just do whatever they want right so there's, there's gotta be some ground rules so um <clears throat> so what we were talking about was uh okay yeah so uh how can we make this story better and there was a i think someone said oh um how about make each of these characters like how or, or um all the villains how about we make all the villains real they're not illusions and, and, and I said to myself, okay, yeah, perfect. That's that's much better, because the way they handled that was terrible, you know? Shadow mm-hmm. only has, or the um, the fake Shadow, I believe, the the only real fight we really get is a Shadow just kicks him, and that's it, right? And with the <laughs> Chaos, he just gets booped once in the head by Classic Sonic, and then he's gone. And that's I'm disgusting. like, really? That, that That's that's the best you could do. No, but we said, um, no, we should make all the villains real. Number one, and uh, number two, Shadow. Now, now Shadow was an interesting conversation we had. He, we said, okay, well, what if we made Shadow like this? Like, what if uh, Eggman says, hey, maybe we should get Shadow to work for us again? And Infinite, maybe Infinite's like, okay, how can we manipulate him? And maybe he uh, goes up to Shadow and he's like, hey, uh, I have kidnapped your friends Rouge and Omega, and if you don't work for me, they're gonna die or something like that. And then that will force Shadow to work for them. And he's like, and you can't say anything because if you bl- if you blow your cover, then you're also gonna, they're also gonna die. Just something like that. Because I would explain, you know, you know, in the trailer, that little CG trailer they did, where it was like, uh, it was you know Shadow Chaos. They were all standing there, yep. and Sonic was looking. Yeah, because mm-hmm. that would explain why Shadow has this look. Because when I saw him, I was like, okay, I think they did something to him. Like before, you know, before they knew before we knew they were just illusions i actually thought whoa did something happen to shadow because i was thinking did they manipulate him they did, did, they did, did they... no no no. they did manipulate him and they did use him they used him for ad purposes only <laughs> that's yeah. they manipulated. that's true him. that was that's a manipulation right there <laughs> nothing more than that yeah like, honestly, false trailer, advertisement. I saw the trailers and stuff yeah um i feel like they had manipulated shadow and it was like rouge's job to like turn it back and she would do more than like sit in her freaking office and like, right. tell shadow where to go yeah that was a little i thought that was a little weird she was just she was just talking to shadow and then shadow's and then like she stood on the battlefield that's it she yeah. didn't even get like an action <laughs> shot or anything right Not true I remember and then i like how omega just has this little x mock you know where uh infinite looks like he's about to win and then and uh omega just like shoots him once and then that's kind of his scene if you know what I mean? Like when yeah, he comes yeah. back. He got, like, his oh he got his paycheck. He got his paycheck. Yeah, right? He got his paycheck. He's had so much false advertising. They promised so much and didn't give us what we wanted. Oh, I now I remember what Naka said. He said that um, 
We, we are not cutting corners. I remember that. I remember the yeah, yeah, I remember there was an interview. That. He Jesus. did say that. He was like, we, we want to make sure what? we're not cutting corners. We want to give people the definitive Sonic experience. And I'm like, uh, wow, that's that's a lot of promise there. But remember, actions speak louder than words, yeah, man. We're not cutting. We're not cutting corners. We're just cutting <laughs> the game. Just it's exactly. different. Uh, we're releasing the second half in 20. No, <laughs> no. The thing I want to talk about is the plot itself. <laughs> and how it like seemed like it was such a great premise and they didn't execute it well. The one thing especially that pissed me off was like the whole like the Phantom Ruby suddenly summoned literally the sun. Like where that, did that, that I was sense. so confused. Oh about yeah. That I was lost. Through. I was I, I, I was definitely lost. I, I feel like forces had, you know, had force I feel like there was just no budget given to either Either Sonic Team wasn't given a budget from Sega because, as we know, like I think Sega took big financial losses last year. Uh, don't quote me on that. They uh, claim that they made a financial. They, gain. they they made financial gain off of forces. I'm just talking about in general as a company. Uh, uh, yeah, I remember that. That's what. Uh, yeah, didn't Aaron Weber say that? He he replied to someone and he was like, Yeah, he replied to someone and he said, Oh uh, yeah, so. Like, don't believe everything you hear because Forces was a financial success. Or I, I just remember uh, hear, uh, seeing Aaron tweet that, and I said, "Well, like, where Forces, are the numbers? Because like, like, you well, well, they actually did give us numbers in terms of how much uh, Forces sold. Like the Switch version oh. sold the most. It sold like over five hundred thousand units, which isn't Pretty bad, good. you know. Uh, across the board, it sold about a million or so million or so units. But the issue is like people people always." Uh, you know, align this thing with oh, Sega's just Sonic, and you know, Sega has a lot of other franchises that they don't treat well. And yeah. while they are treating some better than others, they're beating some to de- <laughs> Sonic. They're beating some to death. Um, <laughs> and I feel like it, it, there's just this level of trickle down. You have you have no money going to the their star franchise. You know, the franchise that is their mascot. Then from from there on, you have them having to cut corners, and then they're claiming these big claims. I I don't trust anything Nakamura com- that comes out of Nakamura's mouth. Anything he's involved with just basically I, wants. Didn't to he that. say uh, he just wanted to make a game where you go fast? Yeah, exactly. That too. Yeah, he also said that. After too. seeing like, like, that interview, like I never in my life did I want to jump through a sh- the screen so hard and yell. No, like that is not. <laughs> well, stop like, it, bad. Like that. okay, because when like it, I, I made this point in my recent Sonic Team video. It's like that. Like, are, are you that dense where you don't know what people want? Like, it's not about just going fast. It was never about just going fast, pressing well, the boost button in simplicity. There, there there, there is this thing I gotta, I gotta rebuttal you. Yeah. Uh, with the last, son- the last Sonic Team game that was panned was literally most of the complaints were from the fact that people felt like it wasn't fast. Was that it? was the oh general my God. complaint over there's, overall. He took that there's, a mean, yeah. there's a middle ground. That's, there's a middle see, ground. That's, no, 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 yeah, no, no. I'm I get saying, that. I get that. Like, you got, you got to, you got to give minutes. some leeway there. Yeah. Like, like. But the, the my issue is my issue is like again this is Nakamura I don't trust this man everything he touches like where he's like <laughs> a producer on it kind of just dies <laughs> there like at best I think we've gotten good stories from there and 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 then with forces I don't know how he slipped up with that I don't know how oh, he oh went my that. god <laughs> like I'm, I'm sitting here like well, we we gotta I don't know it's it's one of those things where I feel like they're they're Sonic's in this ambiguous state where we we can't every everything is criticized and nothing is criticized. So mm-hmm. we have literally Sonic Lost World being panned not because it, it's not because of inherent level design, etc. Cetera, et cetera. People hate it because it has a run button and you can, you don't go as fast as generations. Mm-hmm. That was the mm-hmm. true mm-hmm. complaint of that. That's actually true. In my opinion is actually and yeah, the it wasn't Sonic fast. Game ever created. In my opinion, I, I hate Lost World only because yeah, of the I level design. I didn't like Lost World because I felt like it was too... I, I'm pretty sure you've heard this. It's too Mario. And the reason why I say that is because Mario had a run button, number one. 
the the level design was obviously Mario because you know they got the gravity physics and everything. It just reminded me too much of Galaxy, and I felt mm-hmm. like there were there was this mix. I felt like there had to have been some people from Nintendo working on this because it just felt yeah. like I was playing Galaxy, but not as good. Yeah, it, it literally mm-hmm. just felt it, like it, that. You know, for me, going on it, it would have been something decent though. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. For me, it's like Lost World. You know, I'll admit, like for me, if I had to get, if I had to give Lost World a grade, it would be like a C minus. If for me, I uh, can, usually, I can agree with that. like I like the, like I don't hate the game. It 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 felt like it at least tried something different. It didn't hit the mark. At least it tried something different, even, even though it was really just Mar- Mario Galaxy. Uh, 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 yeah, but, it was I mean, one of those games that just kind of tried to please everybody. Because yeah. Yeah. One, yeah. one thing, one thing I realized going into that game and after completing it like two or three times, like you, the outside of the, you know the run button, Sonic has the spin dash. It's infinite and it makes you go fast. Yeah, that was probably yeah. to please the fans of the boost style gameplay you know the uh 2d portions of the game was probably to please the uh the classic fans because that's one thing i've really realized with sega lately and um i think there's a reason that that's come out with like izuka saying the reason sonic the classic sonic was involved in forces wasn't inherently to pander it was literally to try to bring like classic fans to um yeah to to modern yeah Mm -hmm. to play the modern games because well, I, like we we do have to recognize there is a split in the fan base. Like there are massive splits, and now there's this adventure split that somehow magically. Ha- I didn't know there was a. Oh my thing. god! Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, have you like, seen? <laughs> wait, wait, guys, 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 real quick. Have you seen this dude? He appears something. I think his name is Dark Sonic something. No, no, he, no, 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 no. We don't talk about. We don't talk about. <laughs> oh wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold on, hold on. I wait. saw him on a some call me Johnny review. It was Sonic Colors. I looked at the I looked at the comment session. This dude was going off. He's like, wait, 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 wait. What was his name again? Uh, Dark Sonic. Um. I think there's a yeah. He had he had a, he had, a p- he had a picture of the main character from Xeno. Just go to just go to some call me Johnny. Oh hell no! I know I know what you're talking about. I, oh, I have no <laughs> idea <laughs> what is going on right now. But okay, okay. So there's this guy. There's this adventure guy, uh-huh. and I've seen him everywhere. He's he hates the classic games and the modern games. Any fan that likes those games, he will go off on. I've seen him. Wait, not the the what, what, what game did he play? Shuffle? Like, what, what fantasy? <laughs> <I don't, laughs> where does he lie? I don't know. Okay, dude, <laughs> just, just do this for me whenever you can. Just go to some Call Me Johnny's channel and find his colors review. Okay. Look at the top comment. I promise you he's right there. He's I banned from my you. channel. I don't. Oh my god! Yeah, 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 no, no, no. I, 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 I like. I think the last like any controversial video I made, it was like about the Azuka blaming, uh, et, cetera, yep. et cetera, et cetera, and like that man was just really angry. He replied to <laughs> exactly. almost every person's comment, trying to eat them. I, I, I mean, I, I mean never, <laughs> is it Dark Sonic I, I 180? Think that by was the way, the first time. Yes, Dark Sonic 180 has the oh from Zeno Gears. 180. There you go. I I actually like. That was the first time I think I got triggered by the Sonic fan base to the extent where I ha- I felt like I just had to stop doing Sonic. <laughs> like I stopped Sonic for a solid month. I was just like, "This I'm is being- disgusting. Why? Why do we have people?" <laughs> this like is this? disgusting. I, saw, I, saw, I was actually really afraid. Okay, I was actually really afraid to reply to him because I saw him. I think on um. I forget what other review I was looking at, but I saw him there and he was, and there was this dude who was like, yeah, I really like Generations. It was a fun anniversary game. And then at the very bottom, he's just like, wait, you, he's like, what the, like, like, what the hell is wrong with you guys? You freaking stupid. The adventure era was the only good era of Sonic or, or he said something like that. He was like, um, He's like, Sega ruined Sonic after 2003, guys. I swear, like, there is nothing good about Sonic anymore. Like, oh, even yeah, this stuff is, is terrible. Oh, I just yeah. found out this dude has his own Wikipedia page. What? What? Oh, my God. <laughs> he does? I've never heard of I this guy before. I <laughs> Hold on, I gotta see that. Hold on a second. Or Dark something like Sonic. that. Encyclopedia an page. Oh, he has an Encyclopedia Dramatica. Oh man, he's oh actual my God. cringe now. He's oh my God. <laughs> he is dialogue cringe. What the heck? <laughs> Holy crap. But anyways, I think I think we're starting to stray a bit. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
But anyways, back to Sonic Forces. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're getting off topic. We're getting off topic. All right, so... Um, so... I feel like graphics were also a little bit of a downgrade. Oh, yes. I, I, I cannot say that. I can't unleashed, I unleashed. Uh, let me just say, like, what I think Sega should have done was, and if I could, like, give any suggestion during the development cycle, I would have just been like, just look at it, just look at Unleashed and do that, but better. That is all I have to tell you right now. Don't do anything else. It takes more than, like, one and a half graphical designers, though, is the problem. Oh, well, yeah. Yes, but the thing about Unleashed is the poly count in this game is extremely high. Yeah, and it's, that's, it's Sonic's that's greatest a model. Lot, it takes a lot to, you know, put in for that. And that yeah, game yeah, took yeah. a lot more money. Yeah, like I don't, I don't think Forces looks bad at all. Like, I think the lighting is the only actually, issue. I think well, I, I personally that. like it. Like, so I, the I the thought... Were okay. Wait, what'd you say? Go ahead, I think I'm going to retract that a little bit and say the graphics were decent. Actually, they weren't They weren't just on the level of Unleashed and You know what color. it is? I think I, Colors was pretty good. You know what it is? I think it's Better hard for us to even judge the graphics for Forces because so much of the aesthetics is borrowed. So much yeah. of the levels are That's... borrowed. I mean, in, sure. to mention, in when it comes to like new levels, when it comes to like um, the uh, God, I'm drawing a blank on the city level. God, the no, no, it's alright. Uh, yeah, well, it's like that's sunset pretty much like yeah, sunset heights. It's like that's like city escape, but with a sunset. No, it looks beautiful. I won't disagree with that. It looks great, but it's like a lot of the a lot of the aesthetic seems very borrowed. I think that's why it's hard to judge mm -hmm. this game's looks. Uh, based Very on true. anything, I mean, it's just Green Hill with sand. It's literally Chemical Plant again. It's, you know, it's, mm. it's all these. And can we talk about that real quick? The mm. how much of this, the identity of this game, is borrowed. It's like, it's, yeah, it's yeah, like they Sega, have. Mm. Sega is so scared to get out of a shell. It's like when it's like touching a hot stove. It's like, okay, Sonic okay. Sonic 06 was the first time they touched a hot stove. They backed off, and then. Well, and then okay, okay, Sonic Unleashed happened, but ignore that happened. And then <laughs> they, they, they do Sonic Generations, that's can't. good. Sonic Colors, good. Then Sonic Boom happened, touched the hot stove again, they backed off. And now awesome. they're so scared to do anything unique because of that. Because well, it's 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 because like like there's this set standard people have for Sonic that mm. that that's unachievable. Yeah, because. I think the first thing we got to lay out on the table is there's no other game that's really at, at in any other platform that is as fast as Sonic and has a, achieved that successfully to be as fast. The closest game we've got to that is Freedom Planet. And the I only time Freedom that. Planet gets that fast is if it's a straight line. Yeah, yeah I was going to say yeah. that. Yeah. I was going to like, yeah, Freedom Planet is the only. And even that was a type for a Sonic fan game, at least if I remember correctly. And then it became yeah. its own thing. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. even then, it wasn't. It, it was not. It was nowhere near. I can't say it was as fast of a, as the Sonic game at the level of being consistently flat, fast. Like if you went down a loop or something like that, and you came back up, unless oh, it was man. a straight path, you were getting slowed down. It felt more like it felt more like any other platformer than being necessarily a Sonic game. While it did have that feel in terms of speed, it just never <laughs> felt like it got as fast. So we gotta lay that mm -hmm. out on the table. That kind of so, has to do with. In Sonic Forces, the one thing that pissed me off most about the physics is like every time you would jump or something like that, you would always slow down a little when you landed. Yeah. Broken like, acceleration. Like, bro. Yep. Yeah. And like anything, everything just stops you in your tracks. And it just, There's no real momentum in that game, honestly. No, there is. Which game? Especially for classic. Forces. Especially oh, for yeah. classic. Classic oh, is so broken. Classic. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. While we're on that, while we're on that oh, subject, my God. can I just talk about? The chemical plant level, right? Ugh. You remember that one slope? That yeah. one slope. I swear, I was I going know what you're talking about. speed, and he just couldn't get up. The no, no. Stops. Yeah, no, yeah, and no, he rolls no. back down. You're running downhill oh, for like no. ten minutes, and you couldn't no, go no, up no. a step of stairs. Oh my god! I no, can't. The, the worst example was that is the last classic Sonic stage. You, Let's not talk you, about that. That's a migraine. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> get to the end of the stage unless you <laughs> drop dash at full speed and hit the booster and hope you do not fall. You have to <laughs> Honestly, hope you do not fall. I did not see almost Sonic 4 here. level. I was on Casino Forms uh, and I was doing a little loop thing near the little uh, casino thing and I got mm -hmm. stuck on the loop. 
I, I oh could. my god. I oh went through god. to see how many stages I could beat without jumping, and it added up to like six or seven. That's crazy. Uh, dude, like classic Sonic. Okay, and the Green Hill level, I swear, oh. whenever you jump on those platforms, it's so sluggish. He's so heavy. He's like, it's, He's it's not fast. unnatural <laughs> not at all. He's so heavy. Most is the physics, classic Sonic physics from generations were perfect. How do they get yeah. worse in terms of that? Yeah, I don't understand. Exactly. That's why I was it, like, they must have been like rebuilding it or something. There's no way they took generations and changed it to what it is now. Yeah, I, like I said, it must I have been like because a new it's uh the, these uh poop people design it. <laughs> I say <laughs> people, I say Shun Nakamura. It's, yeah, uh, I'm really just saying Shun Nakamura. Yeah, this game took four years to develop and you're telling me no, no, you're no. telling well, me that that was for the the engine like the and you're telling in that engine which we were talking about earlier and this is what i want to bring up earlier we talked about how the engine was mainly just for graphics but yet i'm pretty sure a statement from sonic team themselves said the reason why the game took so long to develop was for that engine so you're telling me more than half of the development time was for graphical design and if that's the case, asleep. that actually makes sense because of how bad the physics are in the game and how bad the level <laughs> designs are. The level design is in the game. And the yeah, I think they fell asleep. Decent, but they're Honestly. not worth that much time. Well, no, I, I can't say that. I got to say that Sonic Forces is one of the prettiest games to come out this generation. I'm not going to sit here it's and lie. And, and, no, no, and, it's, you know, it it's good. Great. It's good. You got, you got, it's you, great. You got, it, you got to give credit where credit yeah, yeah, is due. Yeah, yeah. I agree great. with that. Sonic you, Forces does it's, it's a great looking piece of garbage. But yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It, it falls short where it needs to. It's 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 like when you take poop and you and you spray it with like it's like uh, you, it's uh, like you take poop Febreze. and you spray it with like food dye and you put like <laughs> maybe maybe some uh, frosting and some uh, chocolate sprinkles you know or something. On this top is of the it. perfect this example of what this is. You know how <laughs> those popsicles you used to have in the freezer where like. You like you bite into them and there's like cream. It's cream filled. With forces, mm -hmm. it's the popsicle. But when you bite into it, the inside is there's air. No cream. Yeah. Like there's yeah, no it's cream. Hollow. Like that's, it's that's hollow. like it's hollow exactly. And you know, and I, and I don't, don't want to just keep saying that. I want to like talk about like examples as to why it's hollow. What did the past games have that this one doesn't? And we've mentioned a lot of things thus far. Um, but I guess one another example would be the music. The music is all like there's some oh, tracks that are okay. I don't think it's that there's good. There's some that are okay, I but actually, well, what happened? <laughs> where, 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 where I, I, I had I music. I where think I've, the music was actually very amazing. Dude, to this day, I listen to Infinite's theme on repeat. Yeah, yeah, I, no. I listen to Ooh, it on repeat. So it is yeah, so like, good. That's good, that's but funny, yeah. like, that's actually one of the ones that I don't listen. How to is it? Wait, wait, answer, wait, real quick. Answer me this. How is a song? Better than the actual villain. Can you explain that? To <laughs> How is that song actually true? Than the villain? <laughs> because, okay, because and while we're on the subject, Infinite was wasted, completely wasted. Because Honestly. when I first saw him, I was like, "Oh my God, there could be so many like, possibilities. He could be the custom hero. Story. Like, what if he's the custom yeah. hero's friend? Like, think of it this way. I was like, what if he's the custom hero's friend? We have to save him because he be he became corrupted. Oh my God! Like, there well, were so many things. There were so many things I was thinking that about. And then thinking in writing. They don't do that. Exactly. That requires <laughs> that requires time. I can't believe exactly. uh, I actually theorized for the, on this game. It's exactly. Disgusting. I was theorizing like crazy. I was like, if it could be Dude, uh, like a corrupted body. You made a whole Tales of Infinite theory. I'm sorry. I followed it with the book <laughs> too. Sega like, Scourge. Works when they Sega Scourge. Shout out to that guy. Shit. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Scourge is my boy. Scourge Dude. was like one of my okay. days. My Shout boy. out to Sega Scourge because he did a fantastic job an infinite theory but still i cannot believe that it they completely wasted that character because i saw him i was like oh he's gonna be so cool and then uh and then before you before you know it you figure out he's another I bad guy of the week not weak oh my god <laughs> my that was not why, why can i felt so uncomfortable during that cutscene. i felt so uncomfortable it's like watching a, a child having a temper tantrum next to you and the parents not doing anything you're just kind of like all right sit sit down Imagine you little how... <laughs> but it's like, it's like <laughs> that's how i felt it's like that's not badass it's not, it's not cool it's not a great backstory it's just it's a toddler having a temper tantrum okay here here it, here's here's me sitting in the board. This is here's here's as simple as it gets. If, if I if I do something for infinite, this, this is all you had to do: make him a guy who was probably bullied, neglected, whatever the heck, 
and let him let him uh, get consumed by this energy, whatever the heck. Because when I was listening to the song, I I'm immediately make a thought, joke, but it's not appropriate. Corrupted. Oh, <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> no. Okay, so I was thinking about the song, right? You know, you know the, and I, and I was sitting there like. Dude, this character sounds like he's in pain or something's happened to him and he's corrupted. He's he's filled with anger and he only wants power and, and stuff like that. That's what he sounds like. Yeah. So I, I don't know. So <laughs> and, I, and I was thinking, well, this could this could turn out pretty good, right? I actually thought it, it who knows? It could be really cool. And then it comes out and then you just see he's just this generic dude who's like, Oh, um, Shadow pissed me off that one time. So like, yeah, I'm. I I want to. I want to kill you, Sonic. I want to kill your friends too. If I were to get my, if I were to get my ass beat, I would take that upon myself. Like I wasn't strong enough. But like, this guy is like, I'm going to destroy the entire planet because yeah, I'm going to kill everybody mm -hmm. because I got kicked in the head. That <laughs> my biggest issue is. Like they present it, they they like Shadow comes in. The, the, you know, it's cool that Shadow comes in and eviscerates this man, and he's just sitting here like, "Did he call me weak? Yeah, I'm, afraid. Not weak. I'm, not, I'm not afraid." Like, is it like, bad yeah, that I found uh, episode Shadow more enjoyable than the rest of the game? I can see I that. I actually never even downloaded it. You're crazy, dude. You should try it. It's actually it's, it was actually pretty decent. I I also like little in there from Shadow the Hedgehog. There's the and there's also you know um. I forget what it was called. The water level. I forget what it was. I, I don't know. But uh, uh, enemy territory. Enemy okay. territory. Repeat. Yeah, whichever one it was. I like how he, um, whenever he's in the air, he does his little pose from Adventure Two, and then you know, like, yeah. and, and, and in the cutscene uh, when he attacks Infinite, it's literally that whole scene from the opening of Shadow the Hedgehog where he's beating all those uh, aliens up. Mm -hmm. It, that you know, was a cool reference. Like, that was the game, cool. Yeah. The game has cool fan service, but it's like everything else behind it is meh. But like, like, yeah. I, I, like, I want to touch on a music thing uh, for a minute. Mm -hmm. I thought all the music except for classics music was good. Oh, <laughs> oh my exactly. god! Dude, I, 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 oh, god. What? I, I, I went all I wrong, amazing. dude. And the classics, classics. Like, I wouldn't listen to the classics by themselves, but they, they, they were decent. I'm in sorry, opinion, I, I don't agree with that. I, I personally do well, not yeah. agree with that. The, like, in my opinion, I Tom's the same like, engine music. Yeah, <laughs> no, I kind of felt like the classic music. The classic music kind of sounded like a um, a bootlegged Mega Man soundtrack. That's what it sounded yeah. like to me. <laughs> Actually, that, just me. Too. I can agree with that. Death Egg and Iron Fortress were not good. The rest were pretty mm. decent. You know what's sad is Green Hill. I will take not the good. Sonic Four Episode Two desert theme where it sounds like a bunch of ducks quacking i will take that <laughs> over any of the classic sonic songs in this game honestly uh, the way i described it in my review was it sounds like a sega genesis farting and <laughs> what it sounds it, it literally it sounds like it an sounds, NES farting. It, like it's exactly like i don't even know if i could give it that it sounds like a game boy advance like like you know that's like it just doesn't sound good and then that's just classic and i think it's pretty unanimous opinion for that that it was just overall weak but when I was talking about like um, the other levels, the so like Sonic Forces takes follow for like a, a dubstep kind of theme, and I don't have a problem with dubstep. I have to be in a certain mood for it, but when it like it, I feel like it just doesn't have that same substance or replayability or like we're able to listen to a song. I can't say that, bro. As yeah. no, no, like I like there is some tracks in this game that are good. There are really like a lot of like some good tracks, especially the uh, Avatar levels. Like I like those with the vocals. Like oh those my are great. God. I love I, think, I love Aqua Road. Yeah, I think a lot of it just sounds the samey. Yeah, so it's and that's my like, problem. It's the like same each song is unique. Have you guys listened to Redgate Bridge because it doesn't play in the game for more than like five seconds? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah a lot, a lot about, of it's oh, the best one in the game by wait, far. Wait, wait, wait. Can I, can I just mention something real quick? You know, no space. Oh, from what I heard, oh that God. was the biggest. Okay, yeah. Hold on. Slap a second. to the I face. Heard, I heard no space was actually supposed to be a full level. Like that whole that whole uh, area we were running in. Before we come back to uh, Metro Metropolis, which are, wh whatever the yeah, name of the level was, um, yeah, I heard from somewhere that uh, No Space was supposed to be a full level because it if there's this mod, yeah, there's this mod you can Good. do where where you where you don't go through the, where you don't double boost and you're still running. And there's some uh, there was dialogue. some unused voice clips. Yes, there was some unused dialogue that had uh, yeah, Sonic saying something like, "Codename Gamma found that." Yeah, that's right. Sure, though. When yeah, also, I first saw that in my review, when that first happened, not in my review, my, in my let's play, when that first happened, I honestly, like, I paused the game, 
looked at the screen in disbelief like what was the point of that what just happened like <laughs> did somebody like like i was ready for like something cool to happen like i was ready to i was like this looks beautiful like oh, like this looks great I can, like this is a great looking level i can't wait to say and we're out okay well <laughs> true yeah when i first I saw that i immediately thought oh, i was like oh we're about to like uh I don't know, maybe fight Infinite in here, or maybe get some more information about where, uh, what the Phantom Ruby is like, you know, doing to, uh, doing to, you know, the reality around the Sonic characters. Maybe, we'll, maybe we'll find some lore or something. But no, nope, we're just in there for not even thirty seconds, and then we're, <laughs> then we're just back, <laughs> and then we're back into a level with fist bump playing on a loop. Yeah. On and the I'm- second thought, I think since no space is supposed to be literally nothing, that of course they could have executed it better. But right. I don't. I don't see how it would make sense to make it into a full level. Well, I, I wouldn't mean, like it have like plot develop, development more than it got. But it's if it's nothing, then how is it going to be a level? I mean, I like they, like, uh, they, they boss like the final boss took place in no space. Yeah, that's they, what I would have did. That, that's that's like no reason to say that it shouldn't have been anything. See, yeah. Sonic Forces. I'm not going to sit here and lie. With the exception of an entirety of six stages in that game. I enjoyed the game, but mm-hmm. it, 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 yeah. it falls so short on so many things. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say I wouldn't go back and play it because I, w- I just wouldn't go back and do a full playthrough of it because there are six stages that I'm not touching and I won't be. Yeah. Doing it. <laughs> OK, guys, guys, guys. One word for the next part of this conversation. Yeah. Tails. Oh, my God. Oh, All right. Yeah. Listen, Tails. Let, Let's talk Sonic, about Tails for a second. Help me. Okay. Oh, my God. Help me, Sonic. Uh, Tails. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay. You go first, Sam. Because right. I want to I, just give me a second to think about this. All right. You go first. Let, let me get my freaking mind ready for this one. All right. <laughs> Do you guys remember, and I'm talking to the audience here. Remember Tails from Adventure, the one that wanted to become someone independent, didn't have to rely on Sonic. Throw that out yep. the God damn window, because that like <laughs> that character <laughs> development is not here. I don't know. Okay, Tails in this game, the writers, whoever like I I didn't really look look at who the writers were in this game. I'm sure you guys probably do know, but t- Tails is just not Tails. It's almost like some sort of damsel in distress. He apparently lost it as the characters describe, but he's perfectly fine, like fixing Omega in the next cutscene or trying to at least. Um, and it's just it, I, like there's just no words. Like Tails is not Tails, and it's just a <coughs> shallow form of some damsel in distress. And he's a shell what, of his former self. Exactly. What? Yeah. Happened. Sega Honestly, happened. Okay. I don't let me, have any words? Did they Dude, really shit, not? My mouse is like changing colors every time somebody talks. I just realized that. Oh. Wait. What I is have it? one of those mouses that lights up. And every Maybe time, what? like somebody talks into the Discord chat, it changes color. Oh, that's kind of cool. Whoa, that's cool. But anyways, nice. you know, what what I was saying was, did, did they honest? Did they honest to God? Did no one on that team know about the adventure games? Did did they not know of the adventure story? Like they had to, because I mean, they, I mean, they brought Shadow most likely as adventure fan service. They brought they, cha- they brought chaos. They brought back, back chaos back for five yeah. minutes, but he was there. Oh. But it's like, like, (laughs) you know, it just hurts. It hurts to see what's become of his character. It's it's like wasted potential, hugely wasted potential. You you know what makes? Go ahead, my bad. I was just saying or asking who wrote this game, like the story. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember either. But I do just as forgettable as the writing themselves. Uh, Warren, uh, I think they translated it. Okay. The one part of Sonic Team that needs to like go and can't be saved is like the writers. They have to like get out. Yeah, honestly. Okay. I, yeah. I okay. We need some people that actually care about these characters. Okay. We need well, some people that actually care. About the the fr- person who wrote this game. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. Like, yeah, it's not rocket science. It's a Sonic the Hedgehog game. The person yeah. who wrote this game is <laughs> Makoto Goya, and they have never worked on a Sonic game. Oh, wow. there you go. That's they worked fantastic. on. Uh, yeah, a rhythm game, and they worked on I Am Satsuna and some other game that I can't pronounce. So, 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 so they, they've worked. They, they've worked on Four RPGs. Things. Like, like they worked on I Am Satsuna, and I'm assuming they would know how to tell a story since they did an RPG. 
I think the <laughs> issue here is they don't give it, they don't give you any type of reference. Like you don't go in and see, oh, there's any type of reference. On top of that, I'm mad. Why is chaos in a game for five minutes? They were building him up to be not even. Same thing with <laughs> he was us. The one character like, I was looking forward to. And was the Shadow. One Same, exactly. Like even Shadow, I wouldn't have cared as long as my boy Chaos is back in the spotlight. Yeah. Like, what are you? What he are looked you badass. Me something okay. that I want. Hold on, hold on. He looks so can I, cool. Can I say another thing real quick? Okay. Yeah. Do you know? Uh, okay. If I remember this correctly. You remember the cutscene, right, where Sonic encounters the fake Shadow? Yes. Right before he attacks yeah. This is one thing that makes me so mad for some reason. Sonic, take If you look closely at, so- at uh, Sonic, yeah. right before Shadow's mouth appears in the next frame, you me- what does he do? Tell me right now. What does he do? He's holding that- his hands up, scared like tails. Like, like the characters. He his- okay, yeah. That- that's what made me so angry. He holds his... He puts his hands in front of his face like, ah, don't hurt. And I said, no. No, 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 no. In Sonic Adventure 2, when Sonic and Shadow first encountered each other, did 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 Sonic even hesitate to fight this man? No. Are you serious? <laughs> exactly. So he didn't even I yell, was, "Hey, was, that's my line from from like you know like thing, from." I can heroes. remotely <laughs> see this coming for is that Sonic you and Shadow usually have like a dialogue before they fight each other, like they did in Adventure 2. Yeah. The only like saving reason I could see for this to be a thing at all is that Shadow kind of just went up and attacked him, and since it wasn't the real Shadow, Sonic might not have been expecting that. Oh. Yeah, that is one way to look at it. Maybe he didn't expect him to uh, hit him or something I mean, right away. That would, yeah. but, okay, that would be uh, a good explanation if Shadow didn't give like a three second, like, I'm about to run at you motion. Because he kind of did. He kind of looked point. at him, Yeah. started, to, like, you know what I mean? I, and, he got in. He got in a fucking runner yeah. stance. <laughs> yeah, like, but what? <laughs> speaking of the um, the writers and all that, um, what I wanted to talk about was the how how they try to describe the powers of the Phantom Ruby. An example that I want to bring up is <laughs> the cut the cutscene with with the oh God. This sounds so stupid saying it, but it's in the game when the sun comes to the Earth and is about to crash in everybody. I can't say that with a straight face. Um, oh man! Now hold on. How okay? When I was first playing the game, and I still don't really know now. I'm like, okay, he wants to crash the sun and kill everybody, but or a sun. I don't know if it's the sun. A sun. Wouldn't that kill? Eggman too, but then I'm like, wait, is that just a hologram? So does Eggman not see it? But Eggman sees that it disappears, so he does see it, but does it just he not affect? Like, it how does it work? It like, what are these powers? In, in like, I don't know. <laughs> right, so, it was stage 25. He mentioned in dialogue, like, think you can stop the sun or something. Yeah, but oh, like, game, what? Game just makes how no does sense. it yeah, work? It makes no like, sense at any level, like, bro. Like, <laughs> like, how does it work? I want to know. I, I, I feel like oh, the man. I'm trying to make sense of Sonic games. Prototypes before <laughs> the battlefield, everyone was on the battlefield because I don't mm-hmm. think they even mentioned it at all. That was an ugly. Oh cutscene, yeah, by the way. Yeah, that yeah, was that weird. Was, that the was concept weird. art because they 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 they, they, just, they just copy and pasted the same like generic animation <laughs> over yeah. every character. So, wait, wait, like, wait, guys. It was a really bad cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just say that I like the concept art a lot better? You guys have seen the concept art, oh, right? Yeah. It's like Sonic yeah. running, oh, yeah. Yeah. and there's like the great. fiery background, and like they're all like, it, it looks <laughs> so it looks so much better. That's the and then, thing. Like, we got like a bunch of people running on like a on a black platform. You know, it's weird from, like, very... that you say that, but almost every single concept art for almost every single modern Sonic game always looks. 10 times better than the original game like in the concept art you always see these open world like it's almost like they're drawing how the fan made games are open world Mm -hmm. huge areas uh, beautiful backgrounds and then when it comes to the original game it's usually very linear the background's not nearly as intimidating as the concept art and it's and there's it's like a translation error it's like like people playing uh phone it's like one person says something it passes on to 10 people and it just the Uh, end product is not the same but go on one thing i gotta say on that though is like um cybrid uh brought up uh fan games earlier and i wanted to touch on it but like Mm -hmm. we we were talking i was i was just invested in what he was saying uh after that but what uh, happened what I said. Uh, it, 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 you were talking about uh, why don't they get f- f- fans to work on uh, you know fan games or whatever for the three D yeah. games instead yeah, of two D yeah, games, just like to write the story or something or like like be, story be writing support. Yeah, or, story writing that makes sense. The issue I think with um, getting any fans on board for the three D games is 
how many actually successful 3D games have we seen from the Sonic fan base? Uh, that have well, actually been good I, and controlled as well as what they were trying to emulate within the series. I, I think would Sonic say Adventure kind of that. Sonic Adventure kind of uh, had had like you know it had Great it idea. gave Sonic you know the right amount of yeah it gave Sonic the right amount of momentum. So if you go down a hill, you're gonna go down a hill. Fast well, are we talking about the uh, are, are we talking about yeah, the uh, wait, Sonic about Adventure three thing? Are we talking about I'm talking about oh. Sonic? I'm talking about fan games. I'm oh, talking about fan. I would games. say oh, Sonic Utopia. Was... Sonic Utopia without I, a doubt. I yeah, would. Sonic Utopia is the only one that did it. I think but, Green right. Hill Paradise was pretty good. That is also yeah. good if you they want to. Okay, here's the thing. Sonic Utopia is a good uh, 3D platformer that takes a that has a nice medium. The uh, Green Hill Paradise. That's that's if they wanna if they wanted to build on the boost formula and make it, you know, more. I guess you could say less linear. Uh, that's how I take it. If you want to advance the boost formula, go Green Hill Paradise. If you want to go more adventure, but also get a mix of cl- the classic elements, Sonic Utopia. Now, well, what I gotta say that. is like okay. Sonic, Ut- Sonic Utopia doesn't have any really inherent direction. You just kind of reach the end, and yeah. You're like, and oh, I think that's just yeah, a level a design. Like, yeah, like, 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 like we yeah, don't it's have a tech we don't have anything that has like a concrete like green hill paradise is nice but like it doesn't really control all that well like a lot of those sonic uh gl games or whatever they are they don't control super well like they yeah. like e- yeah. even by like uh the standards of what we have with like forces it, they they don't control all that well compared to those games they they're, they're about as i think at the best they get as good as forces with the exception of utopia utopia is an outlier in this but like i want to see like until we won't get anything like you know we got Sonic Mania for a 3D game until we get a game that reaches that level. Yeah, and yeah. I think Utopia may reach it, but like even then, it we've only gotten a tech demo that has no inherent direction in its level design. It's just there. For, it's a playground. Yeah, and yeah. it is just yeah. it is it is weird. But for Sonic Utopia, like in my opinion, Sonic Utopia is the cleanest control of a 3D Sonic I've ever controlled since the adventure games and it's and, it, and, it, and it's boggling my mind like whenever w- going fast in Sonic Utopia actually feels very very like exhilarating when you go fast go down a slope even though there, it, the level design though it is a tech demo um, was maybe a little too open uh, it I, I you know that the control in that game it, I, I honestly think if there's anybody, if they want to do what they did with Mania and bring in fans, if there's anybody that needs to be first on the list to get into the control area or the physics area, it would have to be the people from Sonic Utopia, in my opinion. Well, here, well, yeah, here's the other side of that, and I definitely agree, but I, I learned something interesting about the developers behind that game. Uh, the Great Lang mm-hmm. hates, I mean, despises the modern games. Really? He hates them. Yeah, really? it's it's ridiculous. Anyone that even brings mention, he just shuns. It is just ridiculous. And this is not an attack or anything. I'm just saying, like, he just does not like the modern era of Sonic games. And you know, and that could you know that could be pretty bad, right? I mean, if they're trying to do a, if they're trying to make a new modern game and they and they want to bring in these people to help, you know, help with it, then I don't know if he'd be down because yeah, it's, you, you gotta, it's a modern. Yeah, game. I understand that, but it, it, yeah, it maybe, but. I, I I've never talked to him. I've never even known he was yeah, yeah, vocal yeah. Yeah. before. But um, I mean, I guess yeah. It it sounds pretty like like he hates the modern games. But maybe you know, I'm just taking his word for granted because I played his game and I loved the way it controls. I I guess it's just someone that is really passionate mm-hmm. about how modern Sonic should be, and he, he just I think it hurts him to see. And I, I I'm. T- talking for him at this point but i would just assume it, <laughs> as someone as passionate as him to go out of his way to to make an engine that ab- admittedly is better than the actual company it just sounds like someone that really is just passionate about the series and just does not like what seeing what it's become thus far mm-hmm. and that is what yeah. sonic team lacks is passion it's it's caring it, it feels very like they're like there's no uh what do artists say? Like, there's no pizzazz anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think. It, it, I think no more Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. Uh, Sonic Team at this point. Uh, what? What were we saying? 
I'm scared that they're going to keep pumping out average games if they're making financial profit because they they need to take time. Like, oh, yeah. Sonic Forces did good. Did it do good? Like, yes, it did financially well. That's why I, I mentioned earlier. Like, like nobody liked it. <laughs> yeah, like 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 the, like so if well, you make no it, it, if if you if you're selling well, at the end of the day, you're a business. That's all that matters. True. I know Sonic, uh, but they also Everything have they also well. they have to see. In comparison, though, in comparison, even though Mania was a lot lower price game, did Mania do better than Forces? I assume it did. I think so. I yeah, think it did. did. I think it did. I sales. don't know. It probably did. I think it sold two million units. I, I don't quote me on that. I don't know if that's it, true. It's, but it's, it's, sold. A digital, it's a digital it game, up, so it's kind of hard to track. Yeah, but like yeah. Steam, Steam, it only sold like uh, especially around the uh, time, of, like up to like I think December, only really sold like a, a bit over like a hundred thousand something units. Because mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, I don't, I don't remember exactly how well it sold. All I know is that, yeah, it was well as yeah. Sonic says like uh, the highest. Um, acclaimed Sonic game in the last 15 years or something. Yeah. That's what they said. If, it, it was the best seller on Nintendo Switch for like two months on the eShop. Again, <laughs> That's true. Perfect on the Switch, by the way. Oh, yeah. It was fantastic. Yeah, I uh, thought it only ran at like 720p30. Nope. Oh, no, no. It, it, no, uh, I think docked. It's... Uh, is it 780p? No, oh, it not is this 1080p. There is 1080p 60. It's 720 60 in handheld because... Yep. Okay. We're talking about purpose. Mania, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mania. Oh, yeah, that one was good. Also, Forces on Switch is absolutely disgusting. Oh. I, I don't... It's not good. Yeah, I was actually kind of terrified to buy it on any other platform besides PS4 because I was afraid that if I got it, it would, like, dip hard in frame rate if I tried to play it on the Switch or... I don't know, like, if maybe, like, the Xbox One, maybe the controller messed up. Like, that was my main fear. That's why I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get it for PS4 because I have no idea if the other versions of the game are any better or anything, because I'm not sure. And when I got it, it's... Here's the one thing that ticks me off the most about Forces. You know when you run, right? When you mm -hmm. start running, and then he locks... Like, Sonic 60. locks. Yeah. You know, do you know what I'm saying? Like, when he yeah. runs, and then he just locks into the speed. You can't yeah, maneuver no him. Yeah, yeah, he's all stiff. That, that, that I completely hated. And you notice it, too. Because when he starts, he's just running, and then he just, like, pushes himself forward, and he's locked. I did not like that. I was like, you've got to be kidding. There's like no way to maneuver this man at all. He's just locked into the speed and there's nothing I can do. Because if, if I'm trying to make a slight turn or something like that, I can't because he's it's stuck like moving like a that. tank, honestly. Yeah. I want to send you guys something on Discord. I'm going to put it in uh, <clears throat> uh, Creator Hub. Go ahead and look at that. This video showed. Oh, Creator Hub. Yeah. This video showed. The, somebody oh, fixes, yes it, I've seen it this it fixes yes. that problem you just mentioned and yes why like did, was that did they purposely design the acceleration to be like that did they did they honestly because yeah, when it comes to sections yeah. when, because of the way you describe it like like they they start slow but then also they just jump to full speed um yeah. when it comes to 2d sections with the avatar There'll be, like, if there's, like, two platforms you gotta jump on. You jump on the first one, no problem. The second you land on the second one, he accelerates to full speed, and you're gonna fly right off the edge. It happened to me hundreds of times with forces. And this one mod, this one fan, fixed that. Yeah, I remember that. That's crazy. I, um... Yeah, so, just kind of adding to that, I was, <laughs> yeah. uh... I've just... Yeah, that was just, like, one of the main problems, is that, you know, with Sonic... What I always liked was, uh, you know, picking up that speed and finally going at full speed, mm -hmm. not running and then just giving that full speed immediately mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. even having the ability to control it. Not really. So, um, yeah, I, yeah, I've seen that. That's that's freaking awesome that he. Oh, did you see the 360 camera? The, there's a mod where they give you, you know, the ability to control the camera. Yeah, yeah I've seen completely. that. One. And it's sad yeah, that I we're like saying that this, too. but why is that a mod? Why is there a mod for me <laughs> exactly. to control the damn for camera the in a video game? Oh, yeah. What like what even is that? Yeah, uh, true. Like if fans have to, to mod and fix your game, you know there's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wait, what were you saying? Henke? I'm not getting yeah, exact Hanky. numbers for the sales on Sonic Mania. Mm -hmm. Oh. So we just know it did it did the best in the series. It so. did, Mania did much better. Like there were a lot of big people playing that yeah, game. Yeah, I know that. Oh yeah, Dashy, yeah. I think, and uh I think Jack Septicai was playing it, right? Yeah, Jack Septicai. Game Grumps 
Well, I mean, they played yeah, Game Grumps. But... Game Grumps, for sure. They played Forces, too, though. Yeah. Yeah. Then again, they, they, they like playing the bad ones. And admittedly, it is <laughs> yeah, kind of it is kind of funny seeing them rage on that. But anyways. Oh yeah, when they play when they play yeah. Shadow of the Hedgehog, the first two yeah. words that came out of their mouth had me bust. I died. Oh yeah, when like, you saw Shadow. <laughs> yeah. As soon as they saw the gun, uh, Daddy's just like, Oh uh, god, no. Yeah, he's like, Oh god, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, but you know, it's just but yeah, it, like again, like going back to forces though, it's mm-hmm. it's. When it become when it comes to all the mods that came out, the mods aren't even about like most of the mods I've seen are not just doing crazy stuff with the game. Most of the mods I've seen come out of the community is fixing the game, and this yeah. is the, yeah. and this is a real first. Hire thing to see those that. fans. Hire those fans. And it's just not all it's, the modding community. It's sad. It Nobody is so needed sad to see that. Knuckles mod. It, it, it is sad yeah. to see that the modders in the Sonic community is what makes Sonic games better nowadays. Yeah. It's kind of sad. Yeah. I mean, it is so cool, though, because, I mean, you know, you can play modified versions of the game that should have been. Yeah. Typically, because, yeah. you know, they can make gra- they can make uh, textures better. They can, uh, yeah, they can fix the camera. They can give you better control. They can uh, put character skins over it. And new animations, like that's freaking impressive, dude. Like if you're able to do all that. Why hasn't Sega hired those people? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Now, yeah, yeah. Now to kind of, now to kind of. Well, actually, continue with guys were saying. Continue. Yeah. I feel like oh, uh, we kind of yeah. talked about everything, unless anyone else has stuff to say. Um, oh, what yeah, I wanted to I bring was... up was sorry. What I wanted to bring up no, was something okay. we didn't really mention yet. What is your guys' opinions mm-hmm. on the avatar? Because that is the what the main selling point for forces was customizing your own uh, OC. What did you, what did you guys think about? I, that? I, I think I, that's I, the I best part of the game. Probably. I, 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 I agree. Insane, I agree. Honestly, like like like, like it, it was really like despite the like the flaws of the game, with the exception of uh, I think the uh, Green Hill level, mm-hmm. are shown the least in in those stages. Mm-hmm. If, if, if anyone could agree with me, because like yeah. The stage links for most of the stages aren't underwhelming with the exception of like uh, Aqua Road and the the level design isn't horrendous or anything there isn't like you, you, you they let you do what you want basically mm-hmm. with the with the with the creative character and I feel like I felt like if that had been the entire game it would have got higher scores. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I genuinely yeah. feel like if yeah. that was the entire game, the the game would have got like it, even though it would have had its issues, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have gotten as panned by reviewers, and it would have just been a a funner experience overall. Like mm-hmm. the like, fact that I can go back and play good. a stage like four or five different ways and get to the end in four or five different ways and feel good about it. Was something that I really enjoyed about that portion yeah, of the game. I they really my put the work in that time. Like that yeah. was where all the work went. Like yeah, and all the Sonic, and stuff I think all of their budget went to those CG trailers and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, right, more than the game. game. They're like, oh wait, we fix the real game. Ah, whatever the game's yeah. Uh Go ahead, Henke. What were you trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot. Honestly, you were mentioning something about the clothes. Oh. The customization. Oh yeah, they made a lot of clothes and they looked pretty. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's so that's pretty, that's a huge positive for the avatar is when like that's what I was worried about when the game really is like okay we're getting customizable character. How in depth does this go? Because it has to, you gotta get this right if you're gonna do it. And, and it went pretty good. They and even let you customize. Like, yeah, it was. Yeah, good. and it yeah, was yeah, good. And I, I have to give it to forces. The customizing your own character it was like there's a lot you could you could customize it in any way you want. You could mo- you could. For most OCs, you can make your own character. Especially, I mean, do the challenge right now. Go to Google, type in your first name, and do the Hedgehog, and see what pops up. You can probably make that character in Forces because of how in depth mm-hmm. the customization options are. You get a the lot of clothes. Oh. I've made Fang and I made Jet. I was able to do that. Yeah, I and, that was cool. and the ability was... was also a nice touch, I yeah. believe, too. Yeah, dude. Like especially like, dude. I, I was I was set after I. Uh, Found that I could wear soap shoes. Yeah, I was like, oh frick yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, that, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, because like I said, the fan service in the game is really cool. Yeah, there's I mean, even I the uh, the boom shoes, Sonic Boom. You know, is a uh, yeah you know, with all the, the scarf too, sports tape. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I thought that was cool. But uh, Anything else yeah. we got on our minds. Oh, um, wow, I had Boss something fights. on my mind. 
What do you guys think about yeah, those? Yeah, there you go. Boss fights. Yeah. yeah, the boss fights were very uh, copy and paste. Yeah. Especially I like the Zavik the one. The Zavik ones. The Zavik ones. The Zavik ones. Fun. Yeah, that actually, yeah. no, that, that's what got me hyped for the the game at first when I like and during my playthrough when I'm like, oh my god, like this game, like it, like this, it's starting strong. I'm liking it because the first couple of levels were decently fun, and then we got the Zavik boss fight, and it was a fully 3D boss fight, kind of like the adventure game. And I'm like, I haven't seen a boss fight like this, like like since. Colors like like I think right. Like, I'm trying to trying to remember. Yeah. Uh yeah. Like an actual right. fully 3D boss that set like an adventure game. Like like that like that is like like that like that's it's cool. I'm like wow they're really innovating with the with the boost formula. They're actually good. But like no immediately after that the the uh, infinite boss fight with modern Sonic was the same like it, it's used again for metal sonic and then the final boss fight is though better out of all three it really is just the sonic colors final boss fight which was also mm -hmm. yeah metal sonic boss i did enjoy metal wait, wait, wait. no oh, and, the, and the sonic colors and the final sonic colors boss fight was in it again at the very end yeah. of the game yeah yeah and there's and, no uh, explanation for that either <laughs> yeah and you remember the um yeah you remember both the metal sonic and i think the third fight with infinite are the same boss I swear to yep. God, like we're and they are. They, are. they never explained why Infinite is so huge. No, no they don't. Sonic. Why are they so it, big? Actually, it's, it's because he's an illusion. Yeah, that's oh. that's an illusion yeah. one. That that that's just kind of like given. Also, oh, maybe just well, so like you can yeah. see them, kind of. Yeah, that just kind of caught me off guard. I'm like, why is it big? <laughs> 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 that's what yeah. I said. They're my playthrough. Yeah. Um, yeah, that caught me off. I actually thought it was like a, a mistake they made where they forgot to make the character smaller because they were working on textures or something and they just forgot to make... I was I was confused. I was like, why is he so big? I just thought, like, the developers just have, like, eyesight problems or something? Did they think he was closer? <laughs> or did they... Or something? I, I don't know. That, 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 that just kind of creeped me out, yeah. but... Yeah. You know what we should bring up real quick is the sandwich making portion. Oh, sorry. I mean the double boost portions of the game. Oh. Uh, now, oh real, like, in a, double if you, boost. like that's why I made that joke right there. These sections are th as like you know Not how in well, you know how in Lost World they simplified the homing attack where like one press of the button will attack like four or five enemies. Now they made a new section where you literally could put down a controller. Make yourself a sandwich. Watch the game play for you while listening to oh, some I nice music. That. It's like, yeah. why? Right, what were they trying to go for here? Like, it looks cool. I'll give it that. The double boost sections look cool, but what's I think the literally, point? I I think it's that's literally all it was. Cool. It looks cool. Like, They're like, oh, yeah. Cool. And even if you fail it, the only difference is it doesn't play the full version of Fist. And they just, just and they just stumble. Yeah. yeah. Just Have just you like, guys, uh, if you guys mess up the double boost section for the final boss, well, if you guys haven't tried it, try it. The double, the final boss doesn't. It's so awkward. The final boss doesn't do anything. He sits there waiting for you to walk up to him and hit him again. Like it is. Oh my god. Like, oh, can I? What were they, Can I touch on that a little bit? Hold yeah, on go on. Can I touch on? You know, lo, you know the first mission, right, or the first level in uh, Forces, right? Mm -hmm. Lost Valley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me ask you guys a question. Do you remember when enemy AI was actually good? Oh yeah, those were a long time right? ago. Yeah. <laughs> Try okay, what I want you to do is you have the chance, go to Lost go to Lost Valley and walk up to the like some of the first enemies you encounter. And they you will do have a staring contest. They, yeah. they will miss all <laughs> the shots too yeah, if it's an egg one. They're just there. Are also recording, right? Because I, my concern is I'm recording the screen. So it might not be picking up my voice. Um, don't worry, oh. I got you. I got you. I got you. Don't worry about yeah, that. Yeah, I got you. I've been recording this whole time awesome. as well. But um, on your recording, okay, is it getting your voice. Yeah, no. We, oh, I got I, I got your voice. Don't worry, and I got you my voice. Don't worry about it. Um, okay, good. But because uh, I can still have my um audio as long as I line it up with yeah. our dialogue and stuff. No, so no, you're you're you good. I got the you. Audio file, then we're good. Yeah, Great. but um, I made a video, um. But during my Forces LP, where I was Shadow, the, the video is called oh, Sonic Forces is a Walk in the Park. Literally in that video, I, saw it. I am Shadow <laughs> walking at walking pace right by enemies shooting at me, and I can outrun every projectile because the enemies in this game literally are nothing but boost fodder. They are there simply for you to boost through them and to gain, get your boost gauge up more. That's all did they are. Did you see a video game. called Sonic Forces Attention to Detail? Yes, I did. Uh, and yeah, my god, it is art. 
<laughs> yeah. Ugh. That's for sure. Now, what was your guys' opinion? And I know we keep jumping all over the place because I think we're starting to get toward the end of this. But, um, mm-hmm. so, what was your guys' opinion on the whole uh, supersonic being paid fiasco for a bit there? Oh, that oh, made me I was, so I was mad. Angry. I was oh, really <laughs> mad. Let, let me, because, let me, hold let on me, a second. Let, yeah, right. hold, yeah, just hold on a second. Can I just say I was really, really ticked off about that? Not only because and you guys probably have the same thought as me. I was like, okay. You're making us pay for something that's been free since 1992. Mm-hmm. Why really, are you? Why good. are you making? Why are you suddenly? Are, are you guys? Did forces? This is what I said to myself. I was like, wait, was forces such a bomb that now you're making us pay for supersonic? Yeah. What the heck? Because I, I didn't understand that. I was like, is it? Is it like a financial thing, or, or are they just trying to do it as a joke? I have no idea. And then when oh, I saw that, funny. you know, you got. Did yeah. you guys notice that they used the fan logo instead of their? Uh, yeah, um, they actually, yeah, they used a, a fan logo. <laughs> and, yeah, that, that, that caught me off guard. Yeah, and you know, you know what's funny about about the the Sonic or the supersonic thing is if mm-hmm. if, Son- if Sonic Forces was genuinely a good like like a really good game, like if I genuinely love the game, I honestly God probably wouldn't have minded them paying two bucks for supersonic. I'd be like, okay, it wasn't meant to be in the game in the first place. They want to add it in. I don't mind giving them like a, a couple bucks for it. But because Sonic Forces was such a slap in the face to most of the fans, and that's just my opinion, but was it was just such a downgrade. You're really gonna yeah. make me gonna get more money it. out of my pocket, even if it was a dime. You're really gonna want me. You you already didn't give me the full experience, and you want <coughs> me to pay for something that is not gonna make the game any better. Because in the end, this supersonic was the worst supersonic, I believe, too. The same speed, too. The same speed. Yeah. Same it's, jump height. It's, it's you're probably invincible. one of the you're next that's to Lost it. Worlds because Lost Worlds supersonic was kind of mad too. Yeah, it was, just kinda it like, was eh. a good game. And I still wouldn't pay. Yeah, for no, 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 no. This is that was a symbol of the direction of the gaming industry. It's ridiculous. Uh, like uh, I'm, I don't want to go on this spiel here, mm-hmm. but you know we have games where you're paying ten dollars for a doggone slave save slot. Now, it it it, it was ridiculous that you know it, you had something that had been a staple. In so many of these games, Supersonic, that's been a staple, staple, yeah. instrumental to you know people's enjoyment in so, in some cases, and they stripped it away and made you pay two dollars for it because yeah. they felt like they could get a quick buck out of the fans paying for it. Yeah, before, yeah and I can't believe there were people ridiculous. defending it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah and I got a lot of flack for my video too. Yeah, just, same. Yeah, I, I have people just, getting on me. Yeah, it's like, just two dollars. dollars. It's not. Oh, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Can you just pay for something no, no, that was no, free? No, 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 no. Would you rather go? Would you rather go to Burger King and pay two dollars for a cheeseburger and eat that cheeseburger? Yes, I would actually. No, 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 no. No, this is real. This is real. This is real. Somebody Someone said that made to you? this argument. Th- this is on yeah. Twitter. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, man. Would you would you rather pay two dollars for the cheeseburger, or would you rather pay two dollars for a fun character in a video game that will last forever? The cheeseburger last doesn't forever. last forever. Oh my god! <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> oh my god! The dumbest tweet I've ever. Wait, no, I got I got a lot got of flack. Wait, I got video. another good tweet. When I when I when I think it was uh, when I said something about it too, because um, I think I was maybe one of the first people to reply to that tweet. I was like. I, I tried to like I acted like I was trying to add extra to what uh, Sonic Massive Quotes said in that tweet, and and I said he was like, uh, "Yay, uh, so- Super Sonic's free for the time," or and, and you have to pay like, um, yeah, I said yeah, it was like Super Sonic's free for limited time, and then I added to their uh, caption at the bottom. I'm like, and we're making you pay two dollars for this. And we're making you pay two dollars extra after the two bucks is free or whatever. Even though this has been free since 1992, and then I got what maybe 30 comments or something after that. I believe uh, there were, I think half of them were agreeing with me, and the other half was saying, "It's it's just two bucks, man. Yeah, it's not same. a lot of money." And that's the first one. And then the second one was this was so stupid. So it, it was very similar to the burger thing. I think someone was like, "Okay, just picture it this way. You have uh, so." Imagine you're going to Toys R Us or something, right? And then you're 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 about to buy you buy you buy an action figure, 
and then um that action figure he's like that action figure was like 15 dollars or something like that and then it's it was it was on sale the other day for like 20 dollars, and now it's 15 dollars. would you buy the toy and i said what is it what does that have to do with anything and then he was like well the toy's on sale like would you buy it and i was like yeah and then he's like well it's kind of the same thing with this it's only two dollars you're so so buy it i was like dude this so not, this is not a up. sale they're, yeah. they're charging money for something that's been free how and then i replied to him and i said okay how would you feel if god said i'm charging you two dollars to breathe now <laughs> okay just picture it that way what if god said yeah i'm gonna charge you two bucks to breathe or two bucks to blink something like that like it just and you know people were and people thought i was being a little over the top with that but it's still the same principle yeah. you know it, you, yeah. why would you pay for something that's free there was an argument Honestly, in I'm my not even i don't even fuck with the people that like tweet dumb shit at me and like <laughs> i i somehow there's a part of me that enjoys getting hateful comments and stuff because they're always i kind of do too it's funny it. I no, it is funny. Like no, nah, I don't like reading paragraphs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I hate I'm getting like, paragraphs. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, I'll leave the front door unlocked. You come in and fight me. <laughs> I, I um, have yeah, a yeah, comment. Dude, cool. I, I have yeah, a comment. Dude, I have a bullet waiting for you. Yeah. Okay. I have a comment on my Sonic, uh, Super Sonic video. I I have it right in front of my face right now. I will read it to you. It's this comment made me really question the IQ of this fan base. This person, right, who will go unnamed, says, okay. <laughs> Seriously, calm the F down. Sega kind of needs money, too. Just because of this, I'm going to buy Super Sonic 2 to support Sega. People are just crybabies. This is what this guy said to me. He thinks $1.99 would have made a, co- a difference for a multi-million dollar company. This was the defense <laughs> for them charging for Super Sonic. Oh, my you, God. What? I have a video. This is, this is one of the comments I got. Comments. They probably want to see how many downloads it would get to see if Forces is good enough to continue with. What? We also, we also Sonic Adventure Two on Xbox, so maybe they want to see what people will download. Oh, oh my God! What? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they have two brain cells. They're, I they're, have a whole they're, video oh on dumb God, comments dude. I received on a single video. My Infinite Tales theory. People are still leaving angry comments in like. March. Oh I'm not gonna gosh. lie. When I first saw the thumbnail and titled that video, I face palmed. I was like, mm, "Why?" Did you ever then, watch? I did. I did, and I was like, "Okay, it's not as bad as I thought it'd be." <laughs> but you know, in the end of the day, to sum up the whole Super Sonic thing. In oh, the here's past another. Game, wait, wait. Here's. Yeah, wait, can I can I just bring up a comment yeah, real quick? Yeah. Okay, so there was this guy right here. I just found it. All right, so he's like, "Oh golly, two whole dollars. Whatever shall we do?" Given most AAA titles charge ten plus dollars, and Sega is being nice enough to give it away for free at, at least for a couple months, I mean, seems aberrantly but that it seems um, arbitrary to complain about. Plus, episode Shadow was free, but let let us focus on this two dollars microtransaction. I <laughs> oh would if they God. charged for Shadow, it would have made serious? more sense. If they charge for the <laughs> no, Shadow no, Story, no, it would have no, made no. more sense, oh. honestly. Oh, are, are we really complaining about Supersonic DLC being one ninety nine? Hell, he isn't even one ninety nine right now. It starts in a month, so you can get him now with no money down. God. If it was like nine ninety nine or something, I'd agree. But really, it's not a big deal. This needs to be said. Don't get angry about something as trivial as this. Be happy Dude, you have Supersonic. <laughs> yeah, somebody said that to me. Yeah. Somebody yeah. said, "Be glad you have Supersonic at all." I was like, "What?" Wow. Yeah, we yeah. could honestly, we could read these comments all day because I'm sure we have like a truckload. But in the end of the yeah, day, I have truckload. in the end of the day, I think we just, in the end of the day, to sum it up, Supersonic in the past games were an achievement for your hard work. They, you had to grind the games. You had to w- go through the most bullshit of special stages to get those Chaos Emeralds and to earn Supersonic. What you had to do with forces was pull out your credit card. That's the slap in the face. And that pretty much sums it up right there. That... I think that pretty much ends our discussion about the supersonic thing. Is that that's it? Yeah. It was not. Mm-hmm. It was not hard work. It didn't feel accomplishing, and that's it. Also, that on top of that, low that Sonic Forces just left on us. Yeah. Yeah. And I was gonna say on top of that, Supersonic was in Mania, which is a twenty dollars game. Oh so my gosh. And free. Oh, and it was free in that <laughs> game. <laughs> Sonic was, was free good. in that game, so they charge you two bucks it to play cool the modern. Dash, like shake the screen and stuff. <laughs> yeah, for the modern yeah. classic. How game. come Fortnite is out and it's free, but you know Supersonic wasn't out and free in uh, Forces? 
<laughs> I'd rather play. I'd rather play like a Stormy Ascent in Crash Bandicoot because at least that was yes, that's a pretty BS level, but at least it was like at least there's a reason for it to be free because you know that's and it's more worth it too because you know I don't want to pay two bucks for something when I can just you know. Yeah, or, but as you said, you have mania. Yeah. So. Or Sonic Forces should have been free in the first place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> about every game this bad. But anyways, uh, so we're starting to run out a little over an hour now. Uh, do you guys want to oh, start yeah. doing your final thoughts on the whole movie? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Uh, go like ahead, Sai. You could go for a it. Lot of, Hanky, wait, actually. anyone else going? Uh, Hanky, go on. <laughs> yeah. I feel like there was just a lot of Sonic Forces that was amazing ideas and just weren't executed. Right. And that was everything. And then after that, the game wasn't that great, but Super Sonic just was the final like nail in the coffin for anything positive being said about this game. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think I know one more thing we could talk about real quick. The yeah, Sonic Forces Defense Squad. No. 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 Sonic Forces, I'm not going to sit here and say it's a bad game. I'm not going to say mm-hmm. it's a good game. It's it's one of those games that, are, that is average. I'm going to say this. It's an enjoyable game, but that game falls so short of what it could be, mm-hmm. and it, it utilizes almost all of what it tries to bring to the, to the play as something it has, and it does it wrong, and it does it it does it poorly and i agree i feel like that's the biggest downfall of that game it's not that uh, it's not that all of the all of the stages are short it's not that you know we have these broken physics it's the fact that we were presented a promise mm-hmm. and it wasn't it was upheld yeah if if i wasn't Most told broken promises yeah <clears throat> It's just really broken promises. I don't want to be told that corners aren't being cut. I don't want to be told that this game is going to be amazing. And then y'all, you, you give me this half-baked Sonic game. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. That's what that, that's what forces this to me. Like, I, 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 I found a lot of enjoyment. I'm not going to lie. But it, it, it's just, it's disappointing on so many levels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think no. the, uh, oh, are you going to go, Jay? Yeah, I'm gonna go real quick. Okay. And I'll say for me, I think it was an enjoyable game to an extent. It's like Shaddy said, there was a lot of cut uh, corners and promises made that weren't fulfilled. And I think that was the biggest issue with the game. And there was so much wasted potential. And I don't think I can be hype for another Sonic game for a while because I'm still kind of wounded from this. So yeah, the, yeah, game, I agree. the game is playable. It's just not replayable. Far from what it could be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, 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 I tried playing it two weeks ago. Game. I don't want to play it anymore. Yeah. I no. tried playing it two weeks ago and I uninstalled the game, but that's all I got to say. Yeah. Go ahead, Sai. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, now, for me, I don't. I wouldn't say Forces is, an, is inherently a bad game. It's, it's, a, it's a disappointing game mm-hmm. from, from my standpoint. Agreed. And uh, th- the reason why I say that, you know, on a personal level is because... Uh, you know, from 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 my side of things, I was hyping up for this game so much. Mm-hmm. Course of a couple of months, you know, when they showed all the CGI trailers and the um, and especially at E3, you know, I was dead at E3. I, I saw Shadow, I saw Chaos, I saw this new. I was like, oh my god, what the heck's going on? But um, yeah, I was I was sitting. I've been I was sitting in my room and I was like talking to people on Discord, theorizing about this game, like thinking about all these crazy outcomes that sega probably wouldn't even think about doing because at this point uh sonic team just sees sonic games as a chore more than uh passion they, they see it as more of a chore at least that's what i can tell yeah. yeah it's more of a job it's not a passion anymore. that's what it feels like so um like yeah i was sitting there talking to people i'm like oh my gosh like what if um 
you know, they, they do this huge battle, you know, with Sonic and Infinite. And yeah, that battle was still there, but it, was, it obviously wasn't the same as what I thought it was going to be. Be like I pictured, you know, like Sonic and Infinite like dashing each other across the city and smashing through. I don't know, like I pictured it as like a whole DBZ fight or a Naruto battle. It looked more like that. But exactly. um, what interested me was yeah. the Infinite is faster than Sonic thing. Like, how are they going to utilize that in a boss fight? And they didn't. No. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. Like I just pictured like uh, you guys. You guys ever seen that movie Man of Steel? Right. You know that one. You know that one scene where it's like. Superman's like coming up the building and Zod's going down the building and they're about to hit each other. I kind of picture because I kind of like little stuff like that. You know, like where two characters are running at, at top speed and then when they connect to hit, you know, there's this huge like sound wave or like a like that stuff's cool. And I kind of wanted to see that because um, I said to myself, "Whoa, what if one of what if Sonic's friends, what if one of Sonic's friends gets hurt and then it triggers Sonic and he gets all pissed and angry and then he starts, you know, like uh, um." You know, like his blows start to become like stronger. You know, like like there's this, just there's all this rage and stuff in Sonic. You know, like he's making, like he's getting angry and he just starts like beating the crap out of Infinite. I even uh, sketched something out when I was uh, when I was talking with my buddies. It, it was like when Sonic and Infinite are fighting. You know, like uh, um, just, just that kind of crazy stuff, like with mm -hmm. a spin dash. I don't know. But yeah, all that stuff sounded cool. And then when the game came out, it was like, you guys wasted the potential of the game. It was just, there was just so much that could have been done. It, it's just one of those games. It's like another Sonic 06 in a way, only not as bad, I guess. But, you yeah, know, it just I came into it was just one of those. Like, ready to defend it. And yeah. I came out of the game, like, I just can't. All right. Yeah. Yeah, and same uh, here. I was defending the game, too. I, yeah. Hey, guys, you know, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. What if it is not as bad as it as everyone keeps saying it is? And then when I got to play for myself, I was like, okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah it's it's bad. It's a mess. They should have took their time with it. They should have outsourced the game. You know what I'm saying? They should have, like, yeah. they should have, like, uh, took more time on the story. They should have, you know, thought things through, but they didn't. They're, you know, it is what it is. You know, they just, you know. Yeah, and I think I'll, I'll, I'll give my two cents on the whole thing now. Um, mm -hmm. In the, in the, okay. The game, even though I I do seem to be talking crap about it a lot, my first playthrough of the game, I I had fun. I I will always say that the first playthrough of Sonic Forces, I did have fun, but the more and more I played the game, the more and more I became angry at like certain things. So, like, yes. you know, when when every t every time when I saw something lacking in forces that really should has no excuse, I always go back to um i think 2014 uh the sega ceo hejime satomi he apologized <clears> to <throat> all the fans and said that we betrayed you guys and we're going to change the way we make our games and we're going to focus on uh uh quality over quantity we're going to focus on that stuff and you know in the end of the day and then what in the end of the day it's not there like he said that and i said back in 2014 in my old 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 video i said okay that's cool but i need to see it and in the end of the day we still have not seen that you guys still have proven that you have not changed the way you guys make games you guys in my opinion blatantly lied to the fans saying that this game was made by the team that brought you sonic colors and sonic generations that was a blatant lie that was that was a that blatant was no lie truth. because the people that are. worked on those games have to little to no effect on how the game played or how the game looked i i believe they just had the same janitor so i think that's why they put it in the credits or whatever um, <laughs> and you know and just like you'd said sigh i hyped up for the, the this and it's it sucks to, it's not that it sucks to say this, but sonic mania and sonic forces is what built my channel hyping for those two games and so after sonic mania when i got <laughs> sonic forces i was just like I, I was I was hurt because it's like I hyped for this game I defended this game uh, when uh, Nintendo Life made a video talking bad about the demo like horribly I thought oh yeah I saw that at first that's actually how I, I defended you, forces to the end yeah. I'm like there's no way that's possible it's the same engine it's the same as generations it plays the same none of that and you know now that I look at that video 
I kind of see what he was talking about, and now I look like a fool. You, the game made me you look like a fool. It's like you, I defended you. I was on your side. We, it's it's like that that gif from that one TV show. Where it's like we were all rooting for you, like you know, like that. Like honestly, yeah. that's what it was. You we were all job. rooting for you, and you literally backhanded us. And you know, and in the end, all I have to say is the game didn't live up to its promise it could have been so much left so little and all i could say now is look at mania look what was successful do it do what you did for mania do it for the 3d sonic games that's all i could say i don't work for a multi-million dollar company but from what i could tell from my point of view yeah i know it sounds easy with the way i say it but do what you did for mania and bring it to 3d sonic because he needs it now more than ever and if they continue doing this, we probably will talk about Sonic being back like like years from now. We'll probably talk about when Sonic was still a thing, because honestly, it he will not survive the way things are going so far. That's my take yeah. on it. Forces. I think Son I think yeah. for like temporarily, Sonic is pretty much dead. I don't wouldn't say he's dead because 06 happened and he's somehow still here um he's, dead, he's not dead especially i mean after me I, I think more specifically i think modern sonic took another big hit uh classic sonic isn't going anywhere especially after mania he ain't going anywhere which actually you know i actually got really scared though at the end of at the end of forces you know when sonic was like all right after classic sonic leaves and then sonic's like oh, don't worry we'll see him again yeah like, <laughs> no you're oh, joking whatever. with yourself it ain't happening i really hope not i was you like no no, no 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 please no, no. no i think they i think they had to have heard everyone that classic sonic was the worst part of forces but um, yeah that's i was like i really hope not i was yeah. like no I, I just want him to be his pillar i don't want to be in the modern stuff anymore please yeah no. but that's my take on it sega get your your magics run out with the people you have is what i'm saying you're there's sorry there is no passion for uh anything in the company right now you need to you need to get new fresh blood in there because god damn you really need it that's all that's all that's all that's all i'm saying on the matter i think that yeah yeah pretty much sums it up um yeah is there anything we, else I think, henke i think we yeah. wrap this up yeah I'm, I was supposed to be in bed like 24 minutes ago. Oh, <laughs> oh crap. My bad. <laughs> no, it's all good. I think we covered what we needed to cover yeah. successfully. Mm -hmm. All right, well, yeah. thank you for letting yeah. us uh, do this. It was fun. <laughs> no problem. I'm glad you all could make it. Yeah, yeah thanks for having me. I'm, uh, I was glad that I was able to you know, be a part of this. I actually hope we can do uh, more stuff like this yeah. in the future because I, mean, I like yeah. being a part make of Make it a segment on our channel, so honestly. It sounds like a good yeah. idea. Yeah, right? that would be awesome. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Yeah, thanks for having me, bro. Yeah, I wasn't able to me. talk as much because I kind of have a sore throat at the moment, but I tried my best. I don't worry about it. It's all my good. brain hurt. Yeah, no, you sound fine <laughs> to me, bro. I think everyone contributed pretty well. Yeah, we had a discussion right. longer than, you know, the game. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sorry, sorry. I just had to do another quick kick. Oh, before no, we... that was good. That was, that was good. All right. All right. Well, all right. I think that's pretty well, much it. Yeah, I'll see you guys.